Hi. Today I'm testing out a new camera, not a new camera, and an old camera I've been having in my in my uh, uh, photo bag for for a while. So I thought I would give it a try to to make some some videos for you today. Um, I'm going in a small forest, um, 30 minutes from my home. I think I will be making a tarp setup. I will be making a small campfire. Um, I got steak and a cold beer. Um, maybe some coffee as well, but uh, I don't know. It's a new place, haven't been here before, so everything is, is new today. But uh, I'm walking in. I think I have 10, 10 15 minutes of, of walking today. Um, there has been a lot of working um, in this forest, cutting down trees I can see. So maybe I can find a, a piece of firewood um, on the way in. But, but let's see. Um, uh, I got my bag and a wool blanket, axe and a knife and let's see how it goes. So, I've been looking and looking and I've come to this place where they a lot of small trees grow and I think I'm going to make a very very small fire clear out all the leaves and all the roots um, so there's no chance of doing any damage I'm gonna put my wool blanket down and I'm gonna sit and enjoy the sun because look at this so small setup with my wool blanket and a big piece of dirt uh, make a chance so that nothing will happen yeah I think it's gonna be great I'll let you li let you have a look um, at when I start doing something so see you later
So I've chosen to, to use this piece of, of birch, white birch or silver birch, I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, it's, it's fairly dry and I think in, in this piece um, there will be enough to cook my steak and some coffee. So, the birch is wet. I'm not sure if, if I'm going to be able to burn it, so I'm, I might have to uh, get a better piece of wood. Sorry. Sometimes if, if the log is too big and you want to make sure that you split it evenly. I sometimes baton my axe. Instead of my knife, the axe is much stronger.
so that fire um, I think I've been working for 30 minutes now um, both of the pieces of firewood that I collected in the forest on the way in they were no good um, so I had to do something else um, I, I took my saw and I walked for five minutes to a different part of the forest and I found a big piece of dry pine um, and it's it's burning now so I think I can still use some of the old firewood uh, if I just pile it on top of the the fire from uh, from the pine wood um, so now it's maintaining the fire building a coal base for cooking food um, This is this is bad because one of the biggest YouTubers that I follow is uh, Joe Robinett from Canada. He drinks IPAs. I've never drank an IPA before. I watched his channel. So um, six months ago, I had my first, and it's it's an addiction. If I go to the forest, I bring one beer, so I can uh, drive my car home. Um, this is um, from a local brewery called Albany. It's an, an it's a mosaic IPA, uh, Indian pale ale, uh, made in Denmark. So I'm gonna enjoy this now, and I'm gonna maintain the fire, build a coal base if the smoke doesn't kill me. <coughs> um, yeah, enjoy the sun and uh, cook my steak. Um, and go home. I put a big uh, wet log with lots of moss uh, as a as a stop line uh, behind the fire, and I got a stop line out here as well. So I'm maintaining this very very small fire, uh, and it's it's not going anywhere. So a quick, quick info, um, starting this fire I made my own fire steel with a ferro rod. I have no idea what kind of wood this is, but I found it on a trip, small trip. I batoned the sides of it, I uh, shaped it so it fits my hand. Um, I burned it, I oiled it, I drilled it. And I uh, inserted the fire steel with some uh, rubberized glue in the top. Um, it's big and it's chunky, um, but it works. A big fire steel is uh, is my way. So, so um, I have to escape it. Just. So just a spin around the the Finnish uh, outside camp today, uh, bushcraft camp, outdoor camp. I, I don't uh, I don't use titles that much, but um, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing and let let you. I'm I'm mumbling a lot because this is my first video, so I'm sorry. It will get better over time. Come have a look. So, small fireplace, and tools, and a beer, and a wool blanket, and my steak is cooking. And make that two steaks. So, camping and cooking was good. I had some trouble with the firewood um, at the start because the birch tree that I found was, it, it was, uh, simply it was too wet. So um, I had to make some adjustments and get another big piece of firewood. But all in all, it worked. 
I had a great time. Um, I left a little bit of the fireplace and um, and the campsite. Uh, I didn't remove it all because I think I might be going back for coffee um, in a few days. Um, I turned off the fire. I put it out. I poured uh, two liters of water on the fire, so everything is is burned out, and there's nothing left. Um, but I I just left the place. So I can come back and have a coffee soon um, and some bacon. So I'm walking out now, um, still testing this camera. Um, I'm going to put all these small clips together to a video for you. I'm not sure if, if this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, in the in the upcoming trips, but but today was fun. Uh, I had a great time shooting videos and and stuff. But um, I also like taking pictures and enjoying myself. So let's see what what the future will be, will bring. Um, excuse the mumbling. Excuse the the poor quality in camera. Um, and. Thank you for watching my video and yeah, I, I, I think I will be doing some more so, so stay tuned, bye.